Today, I want to ask you, what seeds are you planting in your mind? Are these seeds positive or negative ones? Are these seeds of doubts or of, oh, something bad is going to happen? What's your mindset? Do you have the mindset of a champion? Or are you the type to lose and go crawl in a hole? Are you the type to suffer a setback? Are you the type to suffer failures and never ever try again? Are you the pessimist who notices the worst in everything and never hopes for the best? Tell me, who are you? If you say yes to any of these, then let me tell you, pessimism wraps around you like a mummy. And the next thing that you see is isolating yourself. That's the thing about humans. We like to sit and dwell with our own sadness. Therefore, I don't care if you have listened to me a thousand times. The only thing matters is I need you to stay motivated. I want you to stay positive. I need you to know that you're always learning because there is no failure. I know life is going to knock you down. I know life is going to knock you down. So if you feel like giving up, then remember why you started. Remember that hunger got you here. I'll tell you that the lion is a king because the lion is always hungry. The elephant is bigger than the lion. The cheetah runs faster than the lion. But nobody is more hungry than the lion. Go ask an athlete, a famous Hollywood actor or a philanthropist. It does not matter. Ask anybody who is a champion and you will know that the difference between them and their opponents is that they lived in drastic hunger to win the world. My greatest piece of advice is to protect your hunger, the fire in the belly. And to do that, you must have to stay optimistic. So, golden rule number one, as always, right? Behavior follows belief. When somebody believes, everything changes. If you expect to fail, you will fail. But if you expect to win, you will definitely win. Golden rule number two. If success is a result you are ultimately seeking, you must be obsessed with the process, with both the ups and the downs. Those who can push through no matter what storm arises, make their own dreams and goals a reality. Golden rule number three. If you want to start to feel happy, it starts with you wanting to feel happy. Create your own inner happiness. If you want to start to feel happy, it starts with you wanting to feel happy. Create your own inner happiness and as you are responsible for it. Golden rule number four. This is the most important rule. Replace your worries with hopes by putting together your goals. Remember this. Because if you don't do this, everything else is useless. Don't let pessimism eat away your optimism. Golden rule number five. The one thing that many people lack is long-term vision. You have to see yourself there before you get there. Train your mind. So how do you do it? Start by setting some goals for the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. In order to achieve your goals, first you have to have the clarity of what they are. Your goal can be anything, literally anything. Let's say you want to earn $10,000 a month. So one of the things to do is to be clear on the exact amount you want to earn. That's step number one. Step number two. As you want to earn $10,000 a month, start by creating a simple affirmation. Something like, I'm so happy and grateful for the fact that I'm now earning $10,000 per month. Read that affirmation five to 10 times every single morning and every single night before you go to bed. As you read that affirmation, 
I want you to close your eyes and practice. Mentally rehearse yourself receiving that money. Maybe in the form of a check or a cash and see the money going into your bank account. Get totally into a metal movie and pretend that that was really happening. What this basically does is unleash your subconscious mind. It just opens up your mind within your mind. So what is subconscious mind and how does it work? Humans have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. The conscious mind is a place where we process all information at any given point of time on a day-to-day -day basis when you're awake when you're you know when you're active but it's where you obsess over things worry or figure out what movie you want to watch on netflix tonight it gets tired throughout the day and it sleeps when you do then there's a subconscious mind this is always on and is non analytical part of the brain. From the minute we are born, it begins storing our thoughts, beliefs, and feelings that are outside of our conscious awareness. If you feed your mind negative thoughts, they will seed in and work negatively in your subconscious mind. That's right. In due time, they will evolve into actions that corresponds with them. The subconscious mind does not differentiate between good and bad. It only manifests what you feed it. It just brings out what's deep inside you. It's with this understanding of how a mind works. Someone said, most people are living with an illusion based on someone else's belief. It's beautiful. So these were some of the ways, so these were some of the ways to help you stay optimistic. The physical actions in addition to the visualizations is one of the best ways to prime your brain. These steps will help you to be more optimistic and achieve your goals that you have. So get up and work now. Good luck.